Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet. We're back here at the uh, Custard Tennis Academy. We're in the UK, in Barnstable in Devon. So actually very close to where I am right at them for this, this minute. Um, and we've got potential to get a victory at a level that uh, we have never won at before. So this will be the, the highest ever level we've got a victory. Right, folks, yeah, this start to this season has been utterly mad. We haven't lost a game of tennis so far. Um, Krusty is looking unstoppable, uh, which is <laughs> which is good. You can see here what you've seen so far. He's won in France in four back. He's won in Prague, uh, both junior 300 events. Oh, no, it's an MTL 10 event, so he won his first MTL um, ATP tournament. He's won another junior event in Australia, then went out to the Australian Junior Open, won that, and he's here at an MTL 20. So this is the highest level he's been at yet. And, folks, he's looking to try and get a win here as well. So he's into the semi-final. I'm excited by this. Let's just, just, let's just dive in and have a look at Krusty at the minute, how he's doing. Um, in attributes wise you can see we're developing him really well natural fitness and stamina are doing fantastically well we've got his focus up really high serve accuracy is up at 14 i think this is really important uh getting a good serve accuracy and don't forget we have uh plus one with our, our racket um on on all of those things power i think i do think that is something we need to we need to think about a little bit more uh, and you can see some of the other things like um, for a player who's going to be at the baseline, having a decent lob is quite useful. Also being able to return and have decent spins on there. So those are things that we need to work out. Mental attributes, yes, he's doing well um, in some of them, but we need some of those non-developable attributes to be upgraded. And it's hard to know when that's going to happen. Anyway, folks, let's go and have a look at this tournament, see how we get on in the semi-finals, see if we can get through all the way through and continue our winning streak to make it five tournaments on the trot. So this is a very UK-centric tournament, lots of UK players involved, but we did get drawn against the top-ranked player in the tournament, Igor Ribeiro Marcondes. We gave him a bit of a tennis lesson, 6-love, six 6-1, six bit of an embarrassment there for him, and he got comfortably uh, pushed by the wayside. Aidan McHugh uh, from the UK, um, ranked 830th, we beat him 6-4, 6-2, that was a little bit harder, and then we beat the 6th seed, Jack Pink Pinkington Jones, uh, who was ranked higher than us, 6-1, uh, 6-3, uh, six, six, it's been really easy, so we've got to play the last seed left in the tournament, Li Tu, who has, um, you know, he's beaten a few decent ranked players, beat the... Um, Oh, he's beaten a few decent Brits in there, but it's not had the hardest run in in all honesty. In fact, he's played qualifiers, wild cards, all sorts of things. Not really had a test. I think Krusty's going to give him a bit of a test today. And then the winner of that will play Phoenix Weir or Ryan James Story. I think Phoenix Weir was one of the players who was in the um, who was part of the the junior team uh, or one of the ones that we we're involved in. So. Krusty will know all about Phoenix from his junior days. Right, let's go and play the semi-final. Okay, we've never played him before, but not too worried about this. He's a tactician. He could switch his game to counter-attack or deviation. Strengths are power and tactical skills, but his accuracy is a weakness. So I think, yet again, I think we just get the on-the-body play in place this seems to work really well at the minute so there's no point trying to trying to change that and we'll see how we get on against um this player so in recent times it's been interesting so rather than having low motivation he's had low relaxation so let's say no pressure you're going to do what you did in the previous round and step on it he's reassured now he's good across the board so crusty is coming into this in glorious form See what uh, see what he can pull out in this uh, semi final match at uh, a, a at the uh, twenty level, which is something. Well, interesting start. It's been going on serve up to now, but it's two one. Krusty here um, almost gets his opportunity. A great serve there from the uh, uh, the Australian. Another 
break opportunity here for Krusty. Just needs just to break through. Yeah, certainly that serve power is a bit of a weapon. And it just puts him on the back foot early doors. And then he's got to work his way back into the point. Which is tough. And you can see here, Krusty's still not quite dominating this point. He's, he's kind of reflect, um, reacting to what Chew's doing. Until that one. What a shot. And that makes it 3-1. Well, 5-2. 15-40. He's got a set point. I've got to say, this has been a more of a challenge. This guy has got some good power. And he's not he's not making hundreds, hundreds of mistakes. But Krusty here, another opportunity on his serve. Makes the most of that serve, which was a little bit shorter than some of the others. Trying to get uh, they're about level on points and a poor shot from Krusty back to Juice. Another chance here. Third opportunity on this in this uh, game to take the first set. Maybe wanted to be a bit deeper with some of these returns. But he's gone long. 6-2. Forced the mistake. Don't think we need to make any changes. Krusty comfortably getting through this. He's obviously going to have to go in for some of the, uh, the more complicated or the... the the uh, better t level tournaments uh, in the next round of tournaments. First uh, game in the second set comfortably went on Krusty serve and he's got a break opportunity in this second game. Break acquired with a double fault. Well, here we go. 30-40. Three love up. Krusty is... Oh my. I was going to say doing well. It looks like absolutely smashed that guy in the back of the head. Here we go. Another advantage. We get this to take it to four. You know, that sort of high, loopy shot. It, it's not a terrible one because it does give you a bit of time to re get position back. And there we go. Into the net. Living off Leo 2's mistakes. There we go. It's 5 1, crusty 40 15 up. Not really being troubled on his own serve. That's a lovely return, though, there. That's very nicely done. Didn't quite. Held on. It was a really well played point from the um, from the opponent there, but he can't do it twice. Six two six one. Krusty just walks through yet another um, match comfortably. So he will be playing Phoenix Ware in the final. This should be a good one. Pretty sure they've played before. How old is he? Yeah. So I, maybe they haven't played before. Though they've certainly been on the same team. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens. So he's a an aggressive baseline player. Uses power strokes. Um, his anticipation and return. This is going to be more challenging. Uh, we'll have a little look at him. We don't know an awful lot about him. This is the sort of player, in all honesty, that we might want to try and recruit for our academy once we get opportunity. And let me know, you know, if, if you think that's a good idea, sort of recruiting some of those players that we've been, you know, battling and, and make it a bit of a, you know, those 19, 20 year olds who, who who look like they're going to make a make a name for themselves. Whether he'll come to us uh, is another matter, though. Right. So very similar adjustments uh, on the body play yet again because it is where he's stressed and concerned. That's not ideal. Let's see if we can. So you're in excellent form. Stay relaxed and do what you do best. Relaxation is the easiest thing to sort out. So we've taken him from stress and now he is just troubled so we might want to think about doing something about that during the match if we can so just to try and relieve stress maybe with a chat at the end of set one right see how crusty gets on he's thrilled he's looking full of energy Let's see what we do here well crusty here he is 30 40 up against phoenix we're almost the perfect serve in the end it is a double fault not a great start but uh, crusty's got a break not for long, potentially 15-40. Could we come back into this and take away that break? Be interesting if he does. We've not really been given a huge amount of opposition in recent times. We have walked through pretty much anything we've that's been put in front of us. So, well, there we go. Back to juice. Struggling a little bit on our serve. We got it back to 2-1, and this will be it's 15-40 down, and and we're doing well on the serve here just returning effectively finding the the court with his, his shots putting crusty under pressure 
doing everything he should be doing. And Krusty hits the tape with a drop shot and it's 2 all Break uh, to Phoenix Weir. Well, they both win their, their games relatively easy. It's back to 3 all but Krusty now has got a break. 4-3 and a uh, comfortable uh, game on his serve. 5-3. This has been harder. 30-40. Phoenix Weir is going to be pushing to get back into this. He's just one break behind. It's not going to take a huge amount. But he needs to win this game. And into there. A lovely use of spin there from Krusty. Just changing it up. And uh, that often is all it takes to uh, encourage the ball into the net. So 6-3 in the first set. Very good. Krusty looking good today. I've won the first game of the second set and we're 15-40 up in the second game. So again, Krusty here, he's on to potentially... There we go. He's got the break. Uh, take another step towards a, a bit of history. You know, his best ever um, tournament win, this would be. Or the highest level he's won at. 30-40 though. Phoenix Weir is not done. He's not done yet. And there we go. Lovely shot back to Juice. Love for love three down, 30 40 down. This feels like this is kind of important. And he's given another double fault away. And you have to say that must be it, surely. Well, even though Phoenix Weir has given him a bit more of a game, you can see here how comfortable Krusty is at this level. And he really needs to be playing at a higher level. It's back to Juice. Right, 5-1, so Phoenix Weir did prevent the bagel, but he's now got to prevent. He doesn't, the uh, the break, and Krusty has won yet another tournament. They're getting, getting bored of his doubts, the crowd are, but uh, he's a bit of a genius at this level. Right, so that is very, very nice. Krusty gets another victory, and we can see here he is zooming up the rankings. He's With that win, that's pushed him up 240 places. He's 439th in the world. He's the top junior in the world as well. It's a good year for Krusty. Let's just look at the rankings and just uh, clarify all of those things. So look at his junior ranking. He's well ahead of Maxime Merver, and... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite impressive what Krusty has, has achieved. He'll be coming back for the odd junior event because he wants to maintain that junior ranking. He wants to win the end of season tournament as well. Um, that's going to be important. And can he win all of the uh, the Grand Slam events? Can he do the uh, can he do the four the uh, whatever it's called the Grand Slam of Grand Slams? That would be pretty some pretty superb if he can manage that. But um, yeah, he is, feels head and shoulders above these players. All of them that are in that group below him, he has beaten and beaten comfortably in recent times. There's no one who worries him there at all. So interestingly, if you have a little look at how some of these other players are doing, Mika and Kalen Biggin are doing pretty well. Mika Biggin, he's 126 already. Kalen Biggin a little bit further back, but... Um, which, which is pretty nice. Uh, also noticed Pedro Rodriguez, who was in the top 500 as well. So some of these players, Martin Landalusier here, who's 338. So Krusty is not far away from these players who, um, who we did find a little bit difficult to beat uh, last year. But maybe Krusty's moved on and maybe he's going to be a little bit more effective against some of these players. Gert Trachtenberg, another one. Uh, who we have played in the past in the juniors. Anyway, folks, that was a lot of fun. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Another victory for Krusty. He goes on. Uh, uh, what's going on in the uh, academy? Well, we're still waiting for everything to be developed, but we will see that very soon. We'll be coming back uh, at some point in the near future. Not entirely sure when, because we've got a bunch of tournaments now set up, but um, they're at levels that Krusty's won up before, so we may go through this entire season without losing a match uh, not this this part of the season without losing a match which would be utterly epic but we'll see if you can manage that anyway folks hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you for the next one goodbye